everybody. Welcome to a Wacky Wednesday. Fantastic. Good morning to all. Let's have a wacky Wednesday. Early bird dumbbells. Early birds. Captain America in the house. Atta boy. Little Tizzle, welcome to Wacky Wednesday. What do you guys have for breakfast? I had a banana and a piece of peanut butter toast. A little bit of milk. Welcome to Wacky Wednesday. We'll be starting the class on my YouTube channel at the top of the hour top of the hour hello everybody little morning dumbbell early bird dumbbells if you got any light dumbbells or tennis balls anything you might have we're going to keep working out. We're going to keep getting after it. Morning, Andrew. Morning, Mr. Dinger. What'd you have for breakfast there, everybody? Morning, Gage. Morning, Cynthia. We'll be starting our PE class in six minutes on the YouTube. Coach Ball Game YouTube channel. Got to have something for breakfast, Dinger. Got to eat something. It's Wacky Wednesday. I'm a hot dog. Relishing the moment. You must start come to class today. It's not chilly at all. It's actually pretty hot. So catch up with the times. Hello, Braden. We'll start our PE class in five minutes. A little early bird dumbbells for Captain America. A little tizzle. Dinger. Braden. And everybody. Welcome to Early Bird Dumbbells. PE class will start in four and a half minutes. Get across. What'd you have for breakfast, little Tizzle? Nothing. So nothing and Dinger's gotta get some breakfast. Speedy in the house. Little early bird dumbbells. What'd you have for breakfast there, Speedy? All right, go with the shoulder press. That's it. Shoulder press. Morning, Steinman. Four minutes till we begin. Four minutes. Yes, indeed, a hot dog today. It's Wacky Wednesday here. 
class number 73. Wow. How about that? That's it. All right, everybody. If you're on the uh, Instagram, hop on over to YouTube and tell all your friends class will be there with a hot dog. Speedy had muffins. Love that. Love that, Speedy. So, uh, what about now? Dinger, little tizzle, Captain America. Anything for breakfast from you guys yet? Aubrey also did. What kind of uh, muffins did you have there, Speedy? What kind of muffins? Good morning. Welcome to PE class. If you got some dumbbells, it's early bird dumbbell. Get it going. Welcome in wherever you may be. We're going to get a workout in today. We're going to spread some joy today. We're going to get after it. Let me know what you had for breakfast in the comment section. Speedy had muffins. Let me know what you had. Let's go right here with it. If you got some dumbbells, go right there. Welcome to Wacky Wednesday. Class number 73. We will begin at the top of the hour. Noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. That's one minute away. Now go to the shoulder press. Dumbbell it. That's it. Let's get as many people to this class today as we can. Invite your friends, parents, it'll give you an hour of peaceful coffee while your kids do a PE class with a hot dog. Judge Jr. ready for PE, had scrambled eggs and breakfast. How about an attaboy for the kid in Tampa? One, two, three, attaboy. Get those early bird dumbbells going. Mom and dad in the house on a wacky Wednesday. We represented in California, Florida, North Carolina, Missouri. Where else are you representing? What state? 30 seconds till we begin. That's it, folks. I'm on the Coach Ball Game YouTube channel. I'm also spreading the word on my personal Facebook page. Tell your friends. Share it. Let them know. Hey, P 
PE class with a hot dog today. Relish the moment. You mustard attend PE class today. Catch up with the times. It's not chilly. It's hot. It's hot and sunny. It's hot. It's hot and sunny. That's it. Keep it going. And dumbbells down. Three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Sniff those armpits. Smell the armpits. Let me know what your armpits smell like. Mm-hmm. Mine smell like uh, hot mustard. Touch your toes, don't pick your nose. Spread out wide, smell your left knee. What does your left knee smell like, folks? The scientific name for your knee is your patella. And switch over to the right. Smell your right knee. That's it. My right knee. Still smells like cat food. Always smells like cat food side to side. Here we go. PE on a Wednesday morning, wacky Wednesday. We will tell a wacky story today. We'll tell a wacky Wednesday story. We'll do some wacky exercises. We're gonna get creative here, but go side to side. And now pick those strawberries on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three. 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 On to the bee honkus. Butterflies. Butterfly stretch. That's it. Stretch out the butterflies. We've got eight PE classes remaining here on the Coach Ball Game YouTube channel. And then it'll be summertime. And I'll head off to North Carolina and do my camps there. Then I'll be here in Orange County, California, running summer camps here and summer sandlots. Make a V, touch your left phalange. Get that chest all the way down to the leg there. And switch to the other side. Down to the right. Both phalanges. Both phalanges. That's it. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across, twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my lanta. And then hug that knee into the chest. Hug it in real good, say, I love you, knee. Invite your friends to this class today. Any kids that are at home, push pause on your life. And let's have a workout. Switch. Twist and look behind you. When are you ever going to have a, a hot dog for a PE coach? Maybe never. If your back pops, say, oh, my lanta. Now hug that knee into the chest. I love you, left knee. Downward facing dog. That's it. Get those heels to the ground, stretch out the calves. Upward facing dog, arch the back. And donkey kick, donkey kick. Hee -haw, hee -haw. three, four, switch feet. Hee -haw, hee -haw, hee -haw. Four and five, very good. Up to your feet, start running in place. All right, go tell your friends about this class. Let's get your friends here. Let's get everybody we can to this PE class, and we're going to get a workout in. Keep running a little faster. Every morning I wake up, and uh, I can either be sad or I can be happy. And I choose to, I choose to attack each day with, with happy. I encourage you kids to do the same. Let's attack this day with happy, with kindness, with joy, with enthusiasm. Three claps, one, two, three. Arm circles. Attack the day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Make the big circles. Now forward circle with the right, backward circle with the left, and try to scratch your armpit 
with your right foot. See if you can get your right foot up to your left armpit. And hug yourself. That's it. Welcome in, Mr. Vancouver. Welcome to PE class. Let's go flamingo stretch. If you haven't told your friends about today's class, then uh, you should chug some milk and then go tell your friends. Share this on the Facebook. Switch! We've only got eight of these classes left. And then it's summertime. Let's have PE with a hot dog. Twist your trunk. Just like that. And 10 jumping jacks. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three. That's it, kids. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hands out straight, kick your fingers. Toes to the fingers. Phalanges touching phalanges. It's a great band name. Phalanges touching phalanges. Keep it going. Check in with your nickname. Keep it going. How many of these in 30 seconds? Let's have a contest. You versus Coach Hot Dog. That's it. That's it, little fizzle. And freeze. Very good. If you have some milk, drink it with me. Little Tizzle uh, brought her little sister to class today, and her nickname is Poppy Possum. Round of applause. We've also got Kid Baseball Master in the house today. Round of applause. Please check in with your nicknames on Facebook there and on the YouTube. Uh, let me know who is here so we can interact and engage. Uh, but let's see how many jumping jacks you can do in 30 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you do more than the hot dog? 11, 12, 13, 14. Can you do more than the hot dog? Wacky Wednesday, welcome. That's it. Good job, Dinger, Captain America, Little Tizzle, Poppy Possum. Good job, Speedy. And stop. Let me know how many you did. Hello, Super Henry. Welcome to class. We've got Captain Clutch and Cheetah in the house. Round of applause. Let me know how many jumping jacks you just did. Captain America did 61. You beat the hot dog. Mustache salute. How many did you do? Drink a little milk as you catch your breath. How many did you do, Captain Clutch? How many jumping jacks did you do? Mr. Vancouver did 45. Knott's Berry Farm in the house. Fantastic. Uh, 14 right there for uh, Glow Gamer. Little Tizzle with 61. Poppy Possum with 10. How about a double bicep salute? Triple bicep salute. Quadruple bicep salute. Scholar salute. Bounce back salute. Sportsmanship salute. Very nice. Let's go punches in 30 seconds. Punch across, punch across, and then do a little shimmy shimmy. After each two punches, shimmy shimmy. How many in 30 seconds? Go. Punch, punch, shimmy shimmy. Punch, punch, shimmy shimmy. Punch, punch, shimmy shimmy. Punch, punch, shimmy shimmy. How many can you do? Keep it going. Ten seconds left. And stop. Very nice. First trivia question of the day. What virtual class number is this? As Firecracker has entered the class. Round of applause, Firecracker. What PE class is this? We started on March... 15th. This is class number 73. Mr. Watermelon had the first correct answer. Captain America in second place. That is correct. Uh, Captain Clutch and Cheetah 
Little Tizzle, you also got it correct. Wow, Dinger's sister has the exact same hot dog costume. Let's give Dinger's sister an atta girl. One, two, three. Atta girl! Yeah, this is class number 73. Unbelievable. Hard to believe it, but here we go. Push up position. How many push ups can you do in 30 seconds? Norman's watching. George the monkey is watching. On your marks, get set and go. How many push ups in 30 seconds? Have you ever seen a hot dog do a push up? Hello. That's it. Keep it moving. Chest to the ground. Back straight. Come on now. That's it. And stop. Very good, very good, very good. Grab a sip of water. If you have milk, grab that. Let me know how many push-ups you were able to do. GeoGamer, what's your nickname, buddy? And then remind me, CK98, what is your nickname? That's a great handle, but what are your nicknames? Welcome to PE class, everybody. Captain America, 51. GeoGamer with 21. Cheetah and Captain Clutch with 15. Mr. Accessories is in the house. Round of applause. That's right. CK98 goes by the nickname Firecracker. Very good. Next trivia question. What is a topping you might put on a hot dog? Who can type it in the comment section first, either on YouTube or Facebook? If you're just joining us on Facebook, it's Wacky Wednesday. You know it. That's right, Taylor Parker. I do look hot. Some of you might not really like milk. If you're not a milk fan like me, then water. Water is perfectly fine. That's right, GeoGamer. Kid Baseball Master. That's who GeoGamer is. Kid Baseball Master says tomato. Dinger says mustard. Little Tizzle likes ketchup, as does Mr. Accessories. What kind of, uh, of things might you say to somebody else to spread joy? Boy, do we need some joy in this world right now. Boy, do we need some kindness. Boy, do we need some love in this world right now. So type it on the comment section there. There's 32 people watching on Facebook. Hey, just typey, typey, type. What are some great things that a ball player might say to another ball player or to anybody in the world to spread joy? Mr. Watermelon says, I love you. John Boy in the house. Uh, they say, we love you. That made me feel better. I love you, John Boy Media. Sportsmanship salute. That's right. Relish the moment, John Boy. You mustard uh, attend today's class because it's not chilly and catch up with the times. So you could say you're amazing. You could say, I love you. You could say, you rock or good job. What else could you say to somebody else today to make them feel joyful? You could probably say, hola. That's what Prospect Dugout says. Hola, that, that's joy. What, is, uh, what else could you say? You're the man. You could say that. Uh, sometimes I'll be walking through Lowe's Hardware and I'll look at somebody's socks and I'll say, hey, you have got great socks. Uh, where'd you get those? And then we'll start talking and I might go buy some socks at the place they told me. Uh, you're amazing. What else might you say? All positive things. I want you to say these things, these positive, joyful things Every single time we do this, how many kicks across the body in 30 seconds on your marks? By the way, my baby uh, bitty ball game, Aubrey James's face is on my socks today. I'm also wearing my jean shorts and my Hawaiian shirt 
under my hot dog. In 30 seconds, how many positive things can you say as you kick? Go. You're really kind. You make me laugh. You make me smile. I like you to the point of loving you. Let's go have lunch sometime. Wow, you're talented. You always smell great. You smell like Jeff Nichols. Jeff Nichols uh, always smelled really good. Great deodorant. Wow, did you get that uh, haircut at, at the awesome uh, hair place? Because, man, is that an awesome haircut. Love your jean shorts. And pause. Very good. Round of applause. Go ahead and get you some milk. My good friend Chris Contrino just tried to call me, but I'm live on Facebook right now. Can't take the call. Chug that milk. And now you're going to do your favorite dance to the beat of the drum. I'm going to play the drum, and you're going to do your favorite dance to the beat of that drum. On your marks. Get set. And dance, dance. Everybody dance. the floss karate you go floss into a karate kick floss karate three two 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 very nice round of applause team meeting pose on a knee shoulders back balance an imaginary cup of sprite on your head and let's go staring contest. 15. If you talk, you lose. If you blink, you lose. If you sneeze, you lose. And pause. Round of applause. Very nice. Hands up in the air. Show off those armpits. Sniff your armpit. <laughs> Smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Sniff your other armpit. Yep. Smells like uh, polyurethane. Right hand to the left toe. Left hand to the right toe. That's it. Get that workout in. Attack this day with positivity. I'm a poet and I didn't realize that I was one. Keep going. Keep letting your friends know about this class. We got another 30 minutes and we're going to tell a crazy wacky story. Bye, Mrs. Ballgame's going to work. Let's give her a round of applause. And an atta girl. One, two, three. Atta girl. She's going to work. Back to here and stop. Very nice. Now, we're going to do that floss karate together. Have you ever done a floss karate with a uh, with a hot dog? Probably not. But let's see how many floss karate kicks you can do in 30 seconds. On your marks. Parents, if you'd like to join in, that'd be great. This is one of my favorite dance moves. I do it every time I see a box of Fruit Loops in the grocery store. Get set, go. How many floss karate? Ooh, I'm gonna switch it up. Go this way with the floss, that kick with the karate. Floss your hips. Kick the karate foot. That's it, Super Henry. That's it, Mr. Watermelon. Little Tizzle. Poppy Possum. Dinger. Knott's Berry Farm. Soto. Nolan Ryan Jr. Who else is here? Judge Jr.'s here. Captain Clutch. Cheetah. Mr. Accessories. Keep going. And stop. Very nice. Welcome. If this is your first PE class, uh, this is class number 73. 
I have come into this backyard with my friends George and uh, uh, Norman the Sloth, and we have worked out 73 straight days. Uh, I'd like to know what team won the World Series last year. That's a trivia question. Type it in the comment section. I guess Judge Jr.'s got to hit the road. Have a good day, Judge Jr. Norman's got a great hat. Yes, he does. He is He's napping right now. He's so relaxed. He is just chilling out. Correct answer is the Washington Nationals. Um, we had Mr. Vancouver first, Dinger second, Mr. Accessories third. Hey, Dalton Becker in the house. Mustache salute. What's your nickname, Dalton Becker? Judge Jr. got that correct as well. Captain Clutch, Nationals. Very good. All right. Um, got to go eat dinner. Have a great day. You must be in London. You must be in Europe. Um, firecracker, beard salute to you. Oh, Judge Jr. was telling Mrs. Ballgame to have a great day. Very good. Sportsmanship salute to you. So last week we told a, a wild, crazy story about Mr. Watermelon and, and, and the wackiest day he'd ever experienced uh, on a baseball field. Today we're going to do something similar, but uh, we're going to do it about Mr. Hot Dog. The wackiest day that Mr. Hot Dog ever experienced on a ball field. Okay, we'll get to that at the end of class. But first things first, I'd like to see you run in place for 60 seconds. And what you're doing is you're counting how many times your knees come up. That's it, Pickle Penguin, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Uh, how many times can you bang, 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 get those knees up on your marks, get set, and go. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. How many times can we get them up? You got this. That's it. Norman the Sloth, taking this one off. Not doing this one. Come on now. Oh, you can do it. Knees up. Anybody else wearing jean shorts today? Baby ball game in the house. Join me. Knees up nice and high. I'd rather do some decoration. She's going to decorate the PE classroom with, bubbles. with bubbles. That's it. Very good. Keep it going. 15 seconds left. You're probably tired. That's okay. Mind over matter. Stay strong. Land on your toes. Keep your head still. And stop. Very good. You must be sweating. You might be breathing hard. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. And chug that milk. If you don't like milk, water. If you don't like water, get orange juice. Baby ball game says if you don't like water, go with the orange juice. Have you got one of these yet? Hope so. Coach ball game coloring book. You can find it at the website, coachballgame.com. Uh, this is epic. And, uh, well, it's really, really cool. Firestone in the house. Welcome. Firestone thinks this is the most epic costume ever. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is two minutes of what a ball player does. Uh, and that means two minutes of going around the house, cleaning up your room, making your bed, maybe hugging your mom. Whatever you want to do, uh, make sure it's going to make your parents say, Wow, you're an awesome ball player. Two minutes of what a ball player does activity starts now. That's it. If the shirt's untucked, no, no, that's looking funky. Running around the bases just like the spider monkey with the average eye contact, just not acceptable. Vintage ball cards, they're gonna be collectible. To have some real fun, you don't need approval. If you slide with the wrong leg, it's gonna be brutal. Tall glass of milk with the vitamin D. Gotta hit you a taster. Deep in the cheap seats. Here's what they're seeing when you're running and you're playing. Running and you're playing with some dirt on your shirt. Don't forget, crack the sunflower seed. You get a groovy little name and a band-aid on your knee. So trim that nose hair and check for the fuzz. I black salute, cause that's what a ball player does. Yo, hit it. So 
why don't you join me? So, un bugado, te palota homie. So why don't you join me? Horses of leather and a ball that stays fair. Man those lifers with a down and ready catch. Cause one's got the ball, the other's got the bat. The seeds are in the mouth and the eye like slipping fat with a hand face on and the fights are sticky. I wanna slip but I don't know how. Time is right for a home run swing. My bat looks on point when my jewelry's going ding ding. I won't stop once I touch the plate. Up the chest with my boy, yeah, it's time to sell a plate. Then I go and shake the pitcher's hand with some eye contact. Let's do it like a ball player, soy. Sing it! On Hugo! Que palabra, homie! So why don't you join me? Roberto, come and take soy. On Hugo! Que palabra, homie! So why don't you join me? Very nice. Your two minutes of what a ball player does activity time is up. Round of applause. Let me know what you did. In that two minutes, what did you do? Mr. Accessories uh, cleaned up his basement. Firestone sang the song with me. Captain Clutch and Cheetah got their coloring books last week. Yahoo! Stronghold, you know it. Firestone made his bed. Anybody else do anything epic? Any chores around the house to make your parents go, wow. Uh, Captain Clutch cleaned the bedroom. Outstanding. Lovely. All right, gang. This is a little something called Can You Beat Coach Ball Game. So, if you've been to class before, you know we need to go four cones or four, uh, four of anything to represent a base. Four of anything to represent a base. Trash can. Home plate. First base. Second base. And third base. Just like that. And the idea is to try to get all the way around the bases uh, before I do. Now at first base, boom. Jump over your cone five times like a kangaroo. Second base. Do it six times. Six kangaroo hops over your comb. At third base, seven. And at home, eight. But after each of your hops, you got to shoot the basket. After each set. So after you do five hops at first, shoot the basket. After you do six hops at second, shoot the tennis ball into the trash can. Third and home, same thing. Can you beat coach ball game? Trash can in the middle. Four cones in a diamond shape around. On your marks. Get set. Go, kangaroo. Five, shoot the basket. Kangaroo. Shoot the basket. Kangaroo. Shoot the basket. Kangaroo. Got eight of them here. Eight hops, shoot the basket. Did anybody beat me? Did anybody beat me? Judge Junior vacuumed, by the way. That was Judge Junior's what a ball player does activity. Captain America beat the hot dog. Anybody else beat me today? On the kangaroo hops around. Very good. Phew. Little hot today. A little hot today. Get it? Mr. Accessories beat me. Firecracker cleaned up the basement. Firestone beat me. Anybody else beat the hot dog? Very good. Very good. Little Tizzle. Poppy Possum. What about you guys? You'll love this one. Burpees. At first base, one burpee. At second base, two burpees. At third base, three burpees. At home, four burpees. Parents, if you'd like to join in, by all means, on your marks. Can you beat Coach Ball Game? Get set and go. Burpee. Yeah. Shoot the basket. 
Come on, Firestone. Come on, Mr. Vancouver. Two burpees at second. Burp. And shoot the basket. Not sure why they call them burpees. One. Two. Three. And shoot the basket. And we got four at home. One. Two. Three. And four. And shoot the basket. Whew. Anybody beat me at that one? Hey, if we're going to be here, we might as well attack this day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. We're going to spread some joy and positivity. And this is, this is how I spread joy and positivity. By running around, sweating, doing burpees. Eating milk. I think so. The movement of a burpee is enough to make you burp. That's a good one. So Captain America beat me. Mr. Accessories, Firestone. They all beat me as well. Welcome in. If this is your first class, this is what we've been doing for 73 straight classes. And it's been awesome. We've built this community. We've built friendships virtually because that's what we got to do during a global pandemic. All right? We got to dress up in hot dog outfits and play the drums uh, in our backyard and have virtual PE classes. I'm really proud of all of you. Mr. Vancouver was close but beat me. Honesty salute. Little Tizzle and Poppy Possum didn't beat me. Honesty salute. Whew. Welcome in. Hey, keep spreading the word on Facebook about this class. Share it with your friends. I've got it on my personal James Lowe Facebook page as well, just to get more people to come. Right? I want to say new nicknames. I want to see new cities pop up. Uh, we're about to tell our wacky, wacky story. But before we get to the wackiest day ever that Mr. Hot Dog experienced on a ball field, get your tennis ball. And we're going to try to find a few creative ways to work on our hand-eye coordination with a tennis ball. And I'd like you to comment in the comment section um, any ideas you might have. Some creative ways to uh, 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 play with this tennis ball. And I'll start with the T-Rex drill, where your arms are in close to your body like a T-Rex, and you just pass the ball back and forth. See how many you can do in 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, go. Can you do more than the hot dog? That's it. I need my toast. Baby ball game using her toast. The hot dog is using a tennis ball. Not a girl. We'll be headed to North Carolina in how many days? Let's see. Nine days Nine. and ten nights. Nine days. We'll be headed to North Carolina. We're going to play a lot of baseball there. The fields are opening up. I'm not. The kids are signing up for summer camp. I'll also be doing some sand lots in my hometown, Randolph County, North Carolina. We'll be doing it, passing it back and forth and stop. How many T-Rex drills are you able to do? Welcome, Luke. Luke Heckman made his bed and cleaned the room. Mustache salute. Now, Luke, what's your nickname? We all got to have a nickname here at the class. Uh, let's go with Firestone. He wants to do the wall drill. So take the ball, throw it up against the wall. And catch it like that. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. How many in 30 seconds? Go. Take a tennis ball. Throw it up against the wall. Stand nice and tall. And catch it like uh -huh, that. Dog. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. But don't forget to eat the hot dog. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it, but don't forget to freeze it and stop. If you woke up this morning and you expected to see a hot dog uh, throwing a tennis ball around, uh, then you're a very smart person because that is exactly what you're looking at right now. Uh, how many of those wall drills were you able to do? And somebody uh, give me another idea. What is something I can do with this tennis ball 
to work on my hand eye coordination. Baby ball game. The alligator. The alligator drill. The alligator's a good one because you throw it against a wall and it rolls back to you. If you've got a partner, if you've got two people, you can roll it back and forth to each other. Uh, I tell you what, yeah, you get over there, I'll get here, and let's see how many alligators you can feel. Remember to get your bee honkus down. That's right, say alligator every time you feel the ball. But don't forget the down and ready position. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Hey, and hold some uh, mustard and chili in your hands. Ready, go. Alligator. 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 Atta girl. Alligator. We woke up today. Alligator. We might as well spread joy. Alligator. Alligator. That's it. Alligator. 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 Smack. Alligator. That's it. Alligator. And stop. Very nice. Take a sip of your milk. Take a sip of your milk. I got mine too. Very good. And now we will begin our wackiest day uh, that Mr. Hot Dog ever experienced on a ball field. Okay. Now how this works is I'll start the story off and I'll keep it going. But I'm going to need you to type in some ideas. See, if you've ever watched a movie, uh, what happens before they film the movie is a couple of people sit around a table and they come up with ideas. So this story is called The Weird Hot Dog Baseball Story. It all starts with Aubrey on her side. in the future, in the year 40,000. Now, Mr. Hot Dog had a big baseball game that day, and who was his team? What was the name of Mr. Hot Dog's team? Cubs. Type it in the comment section. Cubs. Mr. Vancouver says the fried eggs. You're welcome. Speedy's got to go to class. See you, Speedy. So, Mr. Hot Dog was playing for the fried eggs. He was the best pitcher in the entire town of what? What town did Mr. Hot Dog play for? Las Vegas. Uh, he lived in Yellow Jacket Town, says Captain Clutch. So, the town was called Yellow Jacket, and the team is the fried eggs. Well, Mr. Hot Dog had a pet that would always wake him up every morning in the year 40,000. What was that pet? A egg. Mr. Hot Dog was sleeping. Nail in. Neg. Let's let the folks here uh, uh, on the comment section do it. Love your energy, though, baby ball game. It was an anteater. It was an anteater that was dressed up like a dragon. So this anteater, dressed up in a dragon costume, goes into Mr. Hot Dog's bedroom and says, what? What does the, the dragon anteater say to wake up Mr. Hot Dog? He says, weenie dog. That's right. Weenie dog. Well, Mr. Hot Dog didn't wake up. So, the next thing the dragon anteater said was, rise and shine. And still, Mr. Uh, Hot Dog did not wake up. So finally, the dragon anteater said, cuckoo. But that still didn't wake him up. So then the dragon anteater said, woof, yeah. And that didn't do it either. What was the one thing that the dragon anteater knew would wake up Mr. Hot Dog? Fried bologna. 
That's right. So the dragon anteater had to actually go in the kitchen, fry up some bologna, bring it in, and put it right in front of the hot dog's nose. And then he said, fried bologna. And boom, woke up just like that. Well done, uh, Melissa Hewlin. Good to see you here. Haven't seen you since uh, high school. Wow. So Mr. Hot Dog wakes up and he's like, oh, no, I've got a big ball game today. I've got to uh, I've got to go be the pitcher for the uh, for the fried eggs. Now, in the year 40,000, they don't use cars or buses to get to the ball field. What? The, how did Mr. Hot Dog get to the ball field, folks? Nolan Ryan in the house, by the way. We got our new camper, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, this is our 73rd class. Um, hard to believe, 73 days in a row we've been we've been having this PE class live uh, virtually. Yeah, they used a hoverboard. Uh, Mr. Vancouver, you are correct. Uh, Judge Jr. also. Now, the hoverboard um, uh, what is this little board that you just stand on like a skateboard, and it flies through the air. But Mr. Hot Dog really loved garbage trucks. So the hoverboard uh, uh, was painted, uh, and it looked just like a garbage truck. Super Henry, great idea there. Now, he finally gets to the field, and what weird thing happened right when he got to the locker room? Mr. Hot Dog walks in. It's the year 40,000. He takes his hoverboard and he puts it in the hoverboard station. And what weird thing happened when he walked in the uh, locker room? That's right. Brad Pitt walked in and said, fried bologna. Wow. Uh, Mr. Hot Dog couldn't believe it because the last person that had said fried bologna to him was... Uh, a, uh, an anteater dressed up as a dragon. So uh, he puts his uniform on and his, his uniform uh, looked like a fried egg, right? And then he goes and he starts warming up and oh my Lanta, who was his warm up partner? Who was his warm up partner? Well, we got some good answers here. That's right. His warm-up partner was a bacon truck. A bacon truck, and the bacon truck's name was Nimbus 2000. Um, he's playing catch with that bacon truck named Nimbus 2000, and then all of a sudden, a guy named Mr. Bread walks out and says, Team meeting! Now, Mr. Bread was the manager, and he always sang a song before every game. So the manager, Mr. Bread, what song did he sing before this big game? Mr. Hot Dog's in a team meeting pose, waiting to hear it. The uh, bacon truck named Nimbus 2000, he's waiting to hear it. What was the name of that song that Mr. Bread sang? That's right, the Sandy Koufax Loco Coco. It's a great song. Hasn't been written yet, but it'll be written soon. And in the year 40,000, they sing it before every ball game. Uh, so he's singing the Sandy Koufax Loco Coco song. And oh my goodness, what started falling from the sky? What in the world began falling from the sky? Yep, a few different things. George Washington, first president of the United States, he started falling from the sky. All of the uh, all of the musicians that played on the uh, on the track Old Town Road, they started falling from the sky. Yankee Doodle Dandy and watermelons and fried bolognese and coconuts and meatballs and eggs and peanuts. And they all started falling from the sky at the same time. And then a penguin runs out and has a staring contest with one of the meatballs. Well, 
We don't know this yet, but in the year 40,000, if a penguin has a staring contest with a meatball, what crazy thing happens? What do you think happens in the year 40,000 in the future when a penguin has a staring contest with a meatball? You wouldn't believe it unless you saw it. That's for sure. Yep. That's right. Still waiting. Get that creative juice going. That's right. The pitcher Bartolo Colon appears on top of the moon while the moon is crying. So pitcher Bartolo Colon uh, it, it soars down uh, uh, on top of the moon, just sitting there on top of the moon, and the moon is crying. Why? Hello, baseball boy. Welcome to Wacky Wednesday. I'm Mr. Hot Dog. We're just telling a story uh, about Mr. Hot Dog. So why was the moon crying? Something had happened in outer space to cause the moon to cry. And I can't tell you how Bartolo Colon got on top of the moon. That's a whole different story altogether. Why was the moon crying? Chug some milk. It might help you think. Definitely helps me think. That's right. Because the moon was facing the wrong way. So that's, that's what Bartolo Colon's job was. To spin the moon on its axis. It's science. And, uh, and cause it to go to look in the other direction. As soon as Bartolo Colon twisted the moon and got it to look in the other direction, cheese uh, started spewing out of the moon. And uh-oh, Mr. Hot Dog is actually allergic to cheese. So what happened to Mr. Hot Dog? Hard to believe, but in the year 40,000, hot dogs are allergic to cheese. So... Get all your cheese dogs out of the way now. That's right. Hey, bitty ball game in the house. Bitty ball game. What happens to uh, what happens to Mister Hot Dog when cheese hits it in the year forty thousand? That's right. He sneezed green eggs. Super Henry is absolutely right. He sneezed green eggs. So green eggs are all over the place. But, uh, but that's a good thing uh, because that's the name of the team, the green eggs. And then a, uh, a, another penguin comes flying down carrying a bag of what? Penguins are very prevalent in the year 40,000, by the way. What in the world was that penguin carrying? That's right, uh, a ham. And the, the penguin drops the bag down and says, hey, all you meatballs and penguins and Bartolo Colon and the moon and Mr. Bread, all you folks, uh, we're going to sit down and we're going to eat this ham and then we're going to have pizza for dessert. And then we're going to uh, wash it down with some mustard. And so that's what they did. They had a great meal. All of these different people had a great meal of food, and then they started the ball game. Uh, and Mr. Hot Dog threw the first pitch to what batter? Who was the first batter for the opposing team on that great day in the year 40,000? Do you know Biddy Ball Game? Who was it? Purple Puppy. It was Purple Puppy. That's right. Purple Puppy steps up and he he was using walnuts for a bat. Yep. And the catcher was Roberto Clemente and the umpire was Mr. Pineapple. And the first baseman was Javier Baez. And uh, the shortstop was a squirrel, half squirrel, half um, Hunter Renfro. So, yep, Hunter Renfro uh, turned into half of a squirrel in the year 40,000. And uh, that was the lineup. 
And wouldn't you know it, Purple Puppy hits a home run deep into the stands. And uh uh-oh, it went so far that it knocked all the lights out and it was pitch dark. So they all had to walk home. But before the day was over and before the game ended, Vladimir Guerrero showed up. And what did he do? (laughs) What did Vladimir Guerrero do when Purple Puppy knocked the lights out of the ballpark? What do you think Vladimir Guerrero did, Biddy Ball Game? Yeah. Yep, he he grew some gills and became a fish. And then he did the floss karate dance. That's right, Mr. Vancouver. And then he ate Mr. Pineapple. That's right, Super Henry. And then he fell down. That's right, Captain Clutch. But then he got back up and he yelled, Peppa Pig. And and that was the craziest day Mr. Hot Dog ever had on a ball field. Give yourselves a round of applause. We We just wrote our second movie on Wacky Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Please have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for Trivia Thursday. Uh, We'll go live with a couple of kids that won last week. Can't wait for that, Dinger. It's you and uh, somebody else. But you are welcome, Dinger. We will see you tomorrow. Don't forget about trivia tonight, 5 o'clock on the Instagram Live, if you'd like to participate. You're welcome there, Super Henry. Uh, Mr. Hot Dog enjoyed class number 73. But uh, please tell your friends about class tomorrow. You are welcome, Mr. Vancouver. You are welcome, Captain Clutch. You are welcome, Cheetah. Have a great day. Spread some joy. We're ball players. That's our job. Go spread some joy. We'll see you all later. All right. (laughs) I am. Let me take my outfit off. We can play, okay? Daddy, sorry. Yes. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, Captain America, at a boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Aubrey, come here.